Yo, what's up? It's PKK98 here, and today I am. Um, I shall be playing Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Now, yes, I know, this game has been out for a while, but obviously, <laughs> I couldn't record it before. I could only record 1 and 2, and even then, 2 didn't run very well with the recording software I was currently using. So, obviously, I'm going to be playing 3 and hopefully 4 if it actually runs alright, so, yeah. Fast Bear's Fright, the horror attraction. Local amusement park is getting ready to scare your socks off with a new attraction based on the unsolved mysteries of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Featuring actual relics of decades old pizzeria, I didn't go to read that. It's further than it. Hey, hey, glad you came back for another night. I promise it's it'll time. be a lot more interesting this time. Found some, some great new relics over the weekend, and we're out tracking down a new lead right now. So, uh, let me just update you What's real quick. This is the screen tearing thing. Look, look at that. The attraction opens in like in a middle. Week, so we have to make sure everything works and nothing catches on fire. Uh, when the place opens, people will come in at the opposite end of the building what is with and this? work their way toward you and past you and out the exit. Uh, yeah, you've officially become part of the attraction. Uh, you'll be starring as a security guard. Whoa. So not only will you be monitoring the people on the camera as they pass through, you know, to make sure no one steals anything or makes out of the corner, but you'll also be a part of the show. It'll make it feel really authentic, I think. Uh, now let me tell you about what's new. We found another set of drawings, always nice, and a boxy head, which we think could be authentic. Then again, it might just be another crappy cosplay. There's and a lot we of found a desk fan, very old school, metal though. So watch the fingers. Uh, <laughs> uh, right now the place is basically just, you know, flashing lights and spooky props. Uh, yeah, spooky props isn't here on the first night, by the way, in case you didn't uh, realize. If we don't have something really cool by next week, then we may have to suit you up in a furry suit and make you walk around saying, boo. <laughs> uh, but, you know, like I said, we're trying to track down a good lead right now. Uh, some guy who helped design one of the buildings says it was like an extra room that got boarded up or uh, something like that. So we're going to take a peek and see what we can find. Uh, for now, just get comfortable with the new setup. Um, you can check the security cameras over to your right with the click of that blue button. Uh, you can toggle between the hall cam, the fence cam. Uh, then over to your far left, uh, you can flip up your maintenance panel. You know, use this to reboot any systems that may go offline. <laughs> so in trying to make the place feel vintage, we may have overdone it a bit. <laughs> Some of this equipment is barely functional. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't joking about the fire. That, that, that's a real risk. Uh, the most important thing you want to watch for is the ventilation. <coughs> Look, this place will give you the spooks, man. And if you let that ventilation go offline, then you'll start seeing some crazy stuff, <laughs> man. Keep that air flowing. Okay, keep an eye on things, and we'll try to have something new for you tomorrow night. Give me the leg! It's free, drop! Okay, nothing ever happens on the first night, so obviously, I will skip right through this, go right into night two, because literally nothing ever happens on night one. Be right back! There we go, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that didn't take forever at all. Yeah! Oof.
Uh. Oh, hello, further. Oh, I have to use WSD. Oh, boy. Oh, so slow. That isn't even lagging or anything. 60 FPS. I'm recording with 60 FPS. Oh, hello, Papal Fred. Oh, hello. This game is recording at 60 FPS right now. This is so slow. Also, I think you can see my cursor because I'm pretty sure I enabled it. This game, it, it's in full screen yet for some reason it's, it's like boxy. It's like. Ugh. Okay, here it comes. Err, err, err. Oh no, don't get me! No, no, no! Yeah, I knew that would happen, hence why I wasn't scared by it. <laughs> now Springtop will actually be here, and there will be some threat. What is with this? What is with the weird loading? Hey man, okay, I have some awesome news for you. First of all, we found some vintage audio training cassettes. Hello! Dude, these are like prehistoric. I think they were like training tapes. Hi, for like other employees or something like that. So, I thought we could like have you, uh, some playing you go? like there over you the are. speakers as people walk through yeah. the attractions. Hello. So like, you know, that makes this feel legit, man. There you are. But I have an even better surprise for you. <laughs> You're not going to believe we this. We found one. We found one. A real Whoa, one. Oh, I uh, see uh, it on the camera. Uh, well, well, look, it, it's in there somewhere. I, I'm sure you'll see Whoa. it. Okay, I'll leave Is you with some right crazy audio that I found. Talk to you later, man. Sorry for the exception. Uh, hello? Hello, hello, hello. Scott. Uh, welcome yeah. to your new career as a we performer. Pretty much, pretty uh, much everyone in the fan base knows that Scott right now. Where to go? Uh, these tanks will provide you with much needed information on how to handle, slash Where? climb into, slash climb out of, no, and ask about costumes. Right now we have two specially designed suits that double as both animatronic and suits. So please pay close attention while learning how to operate these no. suits as accidents, slash injuries, Slash death, slash irreparable oh, no. protest maiming can occur. First, we'll discuss how to operate the mascots when they are in animatronic form. Where? For ease of operation, the animatronic. Oh, that's scary! Just in hand free approach, making sure the animatronics stay where the children are for maximum entertainment slash crowd pleasing value. To change the animatronic, the boy, just mode, a insert and turn firmly the hand crank provided by the manufacturer. Turning the crank will the the oil and compress the animatronic part around the sides of the suit, providing room to climb inside. Please make sure the spring locks are fast and tight to ensure you? the animatronic devices remain fixed. We will cover this in more detail in tomorrow's session. Remember to smile, you are the face of Brady Fazbear's people. Spring trap, where are you? Lit. Oh, I. no. What? Where is he? He's nowhere on the cameras. Where is he? I keep forgetting. Hi. I keep forgetting about the audio. He's not here. Hi. Did you wear a... God fucking damn it. Damn, I can't access the menu of the system restart thing. Hello? Come on. Get into this room. He's not... Wait, what is that? Was that spring trap at the end of the hallway? I saw something there. What? Where is he? Oh no no no! Play audio, play audio, play audio here. Hi. Hey, hey, Springtrap! You wanna go over and uh, see that audio? That's some fun audio over here. Oh no! Audio error. Any moment you want to repair? Oh, fuck. 
Play audio. Hi. Audio, please. Hey, Springtrap. You know, uh, this is this is some fun audio over here. Hi. Like, fuck. I'm dead, aren't I? I'm dead. Notice how I didn't. Notice how I wasn't as scared as I should have been. That's either because I'm used to horror games or just because this game actually isn't that scary. It's more stressful than scary. Because it it's less like, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, ah! And more like, come on, just fucking, fucking do the thing! Ah! Yeah. Um. I'm, I'm, I'm done. Like, I, I need to get a bunch of videos out and it's just getting tedious. I'm wasting time. So anyway, yes, that's right. Ending this video. I'm only doing one video on each of these, on each of these games. I can't be asked to do any more of this. So anyway, I've been your host, Pika Kid 98 This has been FNAF 3 and you've all been fantastic. So until the next video, I say bye-bye.